morning, glory to God. Today is the day the Lord has made. I rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to the Kingdom Woman channel. We're looking for God has made perfect. So yeah, I am getting dressed. Um, yeah, I'm getting dressed. Today is Iron Bowl day. So I'm getting ready for the Iron Bowl. Um, I'm actually going to um, a friend's house to look watch the game so yeah just thought I'd bring y'all along for the journey now today is going to be a significant day because um, it's been a while since I've been like with these group of people like all together I've seen one here one there stuff like that but not like all together um, so yeah, but you know, this is the same group of people that I said I was kicking it with before. Um, and I think what's significant about today is the fact that I've expressed to them that, Hey, I'm going through this transformation process. I'm being serious about, um, you know, um, looking for God, stuff like that. And so um, um, I don't know. Today is going to be like the first time they've seen me in a long time. So that's why I thought it was significant. Now, if it's you, the test is going to be to see how these people, if they take you seriously or not, or what. Uh, you know, the devil's going to be there with everybody else so that's just something you got to be aware of um but you know stay in your ground if you tell them you don't want to smoke or drink or do drugs or whatever you said you ain't want to do no more stand on it especially if that's something you think that's going to be going on like i don't i don't think that's what's going to be going on it might be some drinking there mm -mm. nobody really do no drugs but you know drugs are a reality in our society so if you know if that's something you feel like you may come up against be aware of it and be prepared for it but really if these people is your friends they should know understand where you coming from and they shouldn't peer pressure you into trying to do nothing or that you don't want to do that's the biggest thing like, um, you know, transformation is a process, and um, it may not just happen all at once, but you may realize something might happen, and you might realize, like, hey, this isn't the group of people I need to be around anymore, et cetera, et cetera. So, that might be, you know, something you need to be prepared for, too. But the biggest thing for me today is to see how seriously they take me for this person that I'm trying to become. And, you know, the responsibility isn't 100% on them because they're not trying to be new people. I am. So it's going to be my responsibility to prove to them that I'm trying to be a new person. Same with you. So yeah, um, I just wanted to come chit chat before I go over there and let you know, you know what was going through my mind and you know what I was thinking and why I felt like today was important. And really, those are the reasons why. Um, so yeah. Just want to bring y'all um, here. Not, I mean, not only am I going to be, um, you know, going to see the game, the Iron Bowl, um, and stuff like that. I'm still going to be, first and foremost, serving the Lord, being that person I claim to be. So, you know, that's going to be important. 
And would you believe throughout all of this that's been going on, it's been other people in this group that have decided that they want to turn over a new leaf too. Because, you know, all that stuff that we were doing, I mean, it didn't really have a whole lot of benefit. That's the thing. So, um, yeah. They didn't have a whole lot of benefit to it, so it started with me, and you know, I didn't mean to be like uh, a leader or anything in it, but it just gradually happened. And other people wanted to make a change too. I guess they saw the benefit in it, and that one, it could be done. You don't have to be a party animal all the time, like, it's more to life. It's okay to focus on your responsibilities. And for me, that's being the person God created me to be. So, um, I do want to say roll tide. <laughs> no, but for real though, roll tide. Uh, yeah, so, it's been a ripple effect, but... Again, this is the first time in a long time everybody been all together. Um, if I had been mistaken wasn't playing, I would be at home. I wouldn't even be going nowhere. Uh, well, that's just me. And I think these videos are important because realistically, everybody don't want to just be at home. Like, I don't mind. I sit at home all the time and be just happy. Just as happy. But realistically, I know there's going to be people out there that, you know, don't want to give up a social life just because they got saved. So, yeah. I'm going to take y'all with me. Um, um, give y'all my feedback on how everything go, on, you know, the obstacles I face. And continue to make living for God practical. Like I said, Christianity is not about being a hermit. Um, the biggest thing to remember is that, you know, you represent God and everything you're doing. So you don't want to give off a perception that you're doing anything but representing God. So just be cognizant of that. Like if you're not mature enough to stand on the fact that you claim that you want to live for God and stuff like that. If you can't stand on that, wherever you finna go, don't go. Don't go or either stop claiming to live for God. Until you mature enough to stand on it. One eyebrow down. Okay, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to bank head bounce up out of here. Um, yeah, let's bank head. Um, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna check in with y'all later when I get there. Peace.
I got my friend Isaac over here. Say hi, Isaac. Hello. Got anything you want to say? Roll tight. <laughs> I already told him that. Oh, you did? <laughs> I did. Roll tight, y'all. <laughs> Roll tight, y'all. Hey, Kingdom Citizens, I'm home. I'm home. Um, the get together went well. Um, I didn't stay too long. I stayed like a few hours. But like once the sun was ready to go down, I was ready to go home. And that was just my personal preference. Again, uh, I'm not really the party party type but it is um nice to get out every once in a while so i did go watch the game it was an early game the game started at 2 30 so i went to go watch it they told him it's happy i'm home and yeah i don't know it seemed like well everybody was drinking like when i got there but it seemed like they were getting ready for shot time so it was time for me to go plus i wanted to go home I like being at home. That's just me and my personality. That's okay with me. I'm good with it. So, I, I came home. Um, yeah. Um, while I was there, um, people were surprised to hear both Isaac and I not wanting to drink. Uh, some people were a little bit more accepting of the new change than others but again I was saying that's just something you need to be uh, prepared for somebody even went so far as to hand both of us a jello shot and we just politely refused I mean it was simple as that um, there weren't any drugs there if there were I didn't see them who knows but um yeah um so yeah um the only thing i will say about that is if you're like consistently around the same group of people and you tell them like i'm not trying to drink i'm not trying to drink and they keep trying to get you to drink like that's a problem that's a problem i mean it may take a little while for them to understand like i really don't drink anymore after they've seen you do it so many times you know it might take them a while for their mind to actually catch up with the new change because you know people accept change differently so that might be a process i'm not saying you just throw people away but i am saying you know to be aware of that but like if you keep going around the same people and they keep giving you drinks and not accepting that you're trying to be somebody new like maybe it might be time to reconsider how often you go around those people um you know and what to to what extent you go around those people and you know explore other options it's okay to do that explore other options options that fit who you want to be rather than who you used to be but yeah i'm at home with my baby he seems very happy that his mom is home so yeah beethoven what's going on oh hi sweetie pee. yeah he seems very delighted And always hot. How could you be hot? You always hot. You want another haircut? You want another haircut? No. You, no. Get your teeth off of my hand. No. We're not doing that. So, yeah. I'm gonna do some schoolwork now. 
and that's how the day went i'm home i left around the third quarter so yeah i mean road tired i'm sure alabama gonna beat auburn so i don't even gotta watch the end because i already know <laughs> all right y'all till next time bye